In so many ways, the 2016 NFL season is shaping up differently than the 2015 campaign. Only three of the eight division leaders lead by more than one game. Well, barring another tie, we should have a definitive leader in the AFC West as the 6-2 Denver Broncos head to Oakland to play the Raiders on Sunday night. The key matchup here is Denver's top-ranked pass defense against the AFC's number one passing offense led by the red-hot Derek Carr. Give me the Raiders in a coming-of-age victory that puts Oakland at 7-2. After being written off for dead, Miami and the New York Jets have each won two straight games. But Gang Green hasn't had to face a running back as hot as Miami's Jay Ajahe. He became only the fourth player in NFL history to post back-to-back 200-yard -back rushing games. Ajayi won't be going 3-for-3, three three, but the Dolphins will improve to 4-4 four four by winning at home. With Dallas coming off a big Sunday night victory over Philadelphia, this week's matchup against Cleveland has all the makings of a trap game. I still expect the Cowboys to win, but don't be surprised if this meeting is closer than the 7.5 point spread would indicate. It's a fairly simple forecast for Pittsburgh versus Baltimore. If Ben Roethlisberger returns from a knee injury, the Steelers win. If the quarterback is out another week, Pittsburgh loses. I'll hedge that Big Ben plays and Pittsburgh remains atop the AFC North. Jacksonville has changed offensive coordinators amid a 2-5 start. It doesn't matter. Kansas City's defense will force at least two more Blake Bortles turnovers in a decisive home win. Minnesota has lost two straight games after a 5-0 start, but remains undefeated at home. The Vikings are going to stay that way by improving to 4-0 at U.S. Bank Stadium. Los Angeles enters Sunday's home game with the clock ticking on Case Keenum's days as the Rams' starting quarterback. More sand flows down the proverbial hourglass on Sunday as the Rams lose their fourth straight to Carolina. San Francisco has the NFL's worst point differential at minus 75. The gap between points scored and points allowed grows wider as New Orleans rolls at Levi's Stadium. Philadelphia will drop to 1-4 on the road playing at MetLife Stadium against the New York Giants. Indianapolis quarterback Andrew Luck has gotten sacked an NFL high 31 times. More hits are coming Sunday as Green Bay's defense rebounds from a shaky showing against Atlanta. San Diego has beaten Tennessee in eight of the past nine matchups. Make it nine out of ten Sunday at Qualcomm Stadium. And in the Monday night matchup between Buffalo and Seattle, the Seahawks are looking to kickstart an offense that has gone stagnant. Russell Wilson hasn't thrown a touchdown pass in three games. The good news for the Seahawks, though, Buffalo's defense is reeling. They have given up 69 points in a two-game losing streak. Look for the problems to continue and Seattle to get the victory. This is Alex Marvez for Sporting News.